Hi, I'm Mike Capazzola, and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets that the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. This week, we're looking at the world of beauty, cosmetics, and fragrance, markets that have been hard hit by the pandemic, which may make up for that underperformance as the economy reopens. The stock in the spotlight today is Cody. The company has a market cap of $5.25 billion and an annual sales of around $4.7 billion. The history of the business is a who's who of the beauty industry with iconic brands such as Max Factor, Rimmel, and CoverGirl in the Cody stable, alongside a host of designer fragrances which are made and distributed by the company. Indeed, Cody is ranked number one in fragrance and number three in color cosmetics on a global basis. However, even a market leader has not been immune to the effects of the pandemic. Lower consumer footfall and the widespread wearing of face masks have severely dented cosmetic sales, with lipstick in particular feeling the brunt of that trend. Research from McKinsey suggests that global beauty sales could fall by as much as 30% over 2020. Makeup and masks just don't mix. Even online channels were not exempt, with sales of lip care and color products on Amazon falling by 15% between March and April 2020, while prices fell by 28%. There is a certain amount of irony here because the lipstick index created by Cody rival Leonard Lauder of Estee Lauder fame suggests that in times of economic uncertainty, consumers buy affordable luxuries and pick-me-ups such as lipsticks. But that hasn't happened this time around. Could that all be about to change as the prospect of an anti-COVID vaccine becomes a reality? Insider buying of Cody stock suggests that this could be the case. Johannes Huth who serves as director of Cody, has recently purchased 1 million shares in the company at the price of $6.20, representing an investment of $6.20 million. Johannes Huth is no stranger to Wall Street, as he's a partner in and head of Europe for legendary buyout firm KKR, which he joined back in 1999, and where he has overseen dozens of deals worth billions of dollars. KKR and Cody have done business themselves recently, with the buyout specialists purchasing the majority of the Wella hair care brand from Cody for $2.5 billion in a deal that should complete in the next week. Cody will retain a 40% stake in the business, however. KKR and Mr. Huth can see the value in Cody, its market-leading position, and portfolio of well-established brands. Wall Street has woken up to the potential, too, with Cody's stock rallying by plus 102% over the last month alone. Yet despite those gains, the stock remains down by 39% year-to-date, the 2020 high for the shares having been $13.01 posted on the 2nd of May versus the current price of $6.86. If the economy does start to reopen in 2021 and face masks become a thing of the past thanks to the vaccinations, then maybe it will be time to buy affordable luxuries like cosmetics once more. That's all the time we have for today. To find out more about our TrackStar IQ data, sign up for our free newsletter at investingchannel.com slash TrackStar. As always, Make sure to do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.